Hi, hello, good day. Uh, welcome to the uh, video blogging on can you flashback a table into system table space exclusively from Oracle. So as the name says, uh, you know, we are going to see in detail about how flashback works on the table when you try to use this feature uh, on an object which is in system table space. So uh, there is also a blog on this, not just a video blog uh, in www.orskull.com. So you can also go through the blog in if you need the commands and also whatever we are trying to execute throughout this session or throughout this video. So we will quickly uh, start executing this one. But before we execute it, let me say a few things about what is this blog actually is. And uh, you can say that it's a glimpse of this uh, complete blog. So before we execute a user test case, uh, did you ever get a chance of writing your own tool as an Oracle DBA where it might be uh, to monitor your own, you know, table space monitoring or uh, deadlocks monitoring or blocks monitoring or it can be anything. Because I did this earlier and I had seen this problem because of some, you know, uh, negligence or uh, unknown, uh, you know, uh, unknown statements or unknown uh, concepts regarding the flashback table. So what I had faced was, you know, uh, I created a tool which will regularly monitor the sessions inside the database for every five minutes or 10 minutes, the high watermark of the sessions. And then it will write that session count into one of the monitoring tables that I have created for my, you know, monitoring purposes. And sadly, I created that table in system table space because I logged in as uh, sysdba and then I created that there. And later on, uh, when I had to go and do some administration activities on that table, accidentally I dropped that table, so, uh, you know, uh, thinking that, you know, I would be able to flash back if I need that table back. But then I came to know that, you know, if you try to create any tables inside a system table space and then you try to flash back, there is an issue. That's what we are trying to understand in this complete course. So what is the main reason for me to come up with this blog is because I, without our, with the partial knowledge on the flashback table feature, I thought that it would basically work and then I dropped the table and then I see something different. And also the uh, approach in this complete video will basically follow uh, how did I basically identify that, you know, uh, I will not be able to flash back an object. It is not this by the end of this course or by sorry, by the end of this video, you will understand that, you know, the flashback, it is not the flashback that doesn't work. There is something else. So what is that? Definitely we are going to see now. So to do this, I have created my own user test case. And uh, with this test case, you will be able to identify why does, you know, the flashback table is a problem if an object is in system table space. So let us connect to my system, one of my test system. So as you see on the screen, I have connected to my test system, uh, but to show you guys, so the username is sys. So I connected as a sys user. So I'm sure uh, you guys know for the sys user, the default table space will be system, isn't it? So let us first of all, create an object called tab one, but that object, let me create it into a different table space, which is user defined table space. So I have a user defined table space called ADO TBS. So let me show you that. So select name from uh, dollar table space. So I'll be basically now creating an object in the user defined table space called ADO TBS. And inside this table space, uh, I am also going to uh, insert some data into it. Then I'm going to drop it and then show you what exactly happens in the background. So now let me create that table. So just say create table tab one and I would say C1 number simply. And now I would be inserting some data into it. And I'm sure, uh, sorry, there is a mistake here because the table has to be inserted into a specific table space. I should include the table space clause as well in the create statement. So it should be table space ADO TBS. All right, so I created this. Now I'm inserting some data, insert into tab one. So the values. And for this, I would just say ampersand C1 so that I can keep using the backslash uh, forward slash. Sorry, that's it. So I just committed. Now, if I wanted to drop this table, so before that, let me show you the content of this table because it's existing and this particular table, because we have given a specific clause 
called table space and idio tbs this is available in tbs now if i just say drop table tab one definitely it drops now let me go and verify my recycle bin because after dropping the table the object should be existing in the recycle bin first isn't it so let me go and verify that so i have the query like this so just pasting it here for you so i have just set this uh, you know uh, a40 and all uh, as you see on the screen i can see two tab ones because this is what uh, you know it was there earlier when i dropped it uh, before this session started so this is different tab one but the actual tab one is this so what is that you are trying to understand now is as soon as i drop a table called tab one which was part of you know ado tbs definitely you found it in the recycle bin as you found it in the recycle bin you can flash back so you can just say flashback table tab one to before drop so now again you just say select star from tab one it works so you have got back your tab one from the recycle bin with the flashback table feature isn't it now to, uh, to go and in detail about the object on the system table space let me create another object so tab two as an example i would just leave it with number that's it and again i'll be using insert into uh, tab two uh, values and i would use ampersand c1 and then i would keep inserting some data uh, sample data that's it so if i just query this select star from tab 2 definitely i can see the data from tab 2 but please remember tab 2 as i did not specify any table space clause here and because i logged into the database as sysdba this object will be created in system table space isn't it now just drop this table so tab 2 the table is dropped can you find this table in the recycle bin now that's a major question so i will be just copying it and see here the tab 2 is not existing in the recycle bin now this is the major reason why flashback doesn't work so just say flashback table tab 2 to before drop so what does it say so it is not saying that flashback cannot work on the object from the system table space but internet is saying that it cannot find an object in the recycle bin this is the reason why you know you cannot use the flashback on the objects in the system table space because oracle has you know uh, designed or disabled you can say in such a way that whatever objects you are trying to drop from the system table space or the sysox table space those objects are basically not redirected or not moved into recycle bins at all they are permanently removed that's the reason the flashback doesn't work but you know few guys will also say that flashback doesn't work on the objects which are in the system table space but the reason behind that you know not working functionalities is database doesn't push the objects from the system table space or the sysox table space into recycle bin and with this understanding what is that i wanted to conclude is you know definitely we do not basically uh, keep the application data into system table space or sysox table space being the dba we definitely take that you know measure but in case if you as a dba also wanted to you know create your own objects for any of the monitoring purposes or any debugging purposes or any other thing that you are trying to do and you wanted to use the system resources for your own uh, you know uh, reasons please try to create a separate user table space or any user created table space i mean and then try to use that table space with all the privileged user even sys user can also use a user specific table space isn't it as i just shown you uh, as a sys user i am able to create an object in a separate table space called ado tbs so just try to go and use uh, a separate user defined table space for all your monitoring or for all your data that you wanted to save inside the database so that you can actually gain the benefit of all the features that are available in the database with this uh, video i wanted to just set one of the features called flashback table will also work on such objects though it is created by sys user it will definitely help you by enabling that feature because it is not the object which is from system or sysox table space so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to our channel to get you know interesting videos like this technically and non technically also all around the oracle database administration thank you once again have a nice day.